Mm. It has been spotted roaring across the Nevada desert, but spotted only fleetingly. It is long, sleek, it is very fast, and it's also invisible. Okay, it's not really invisible, but it is the stealth car, the brainchild of a fellow out west who had nothing better to do than invent a car the law can't catch. At least the law hadn't caught it yet. But the thing did slow down just long enough to give our Patrick Frazier a ride on a flat, fast stretch of Nevada desert. This is a top secret, very, very expensive plane. Technically, according to the Pentagon people who paid about a hundred million of your tax dollars for it, the stealth fighter is invisible. Please do not snicker. The bureaucrats say it's impossible for our enemy's radar to spot it. So now, with no less an authority than Uncle Sam saying invisible is possible, we can get on with this story. <laughs> Bill Henry did, sort of. Took a 1986 Corvette, a big wad of cash, and created, you will need to use your imagination, an invisible car. The mission of the car is to be able to proceed at uh, high speed without being detected, and uh, both in the daytime and at night. What Phil is saying is that the vet avoids radar through a dozen or so highly technical devices the car foils the attempts of diligent law enforcement officers to enforce the law. Well, it's as complete as I believe you can get. Uh, if there's anything that we've left out, it, I haven't thought of it yet. For example, the stealth vet doesn't just have a radar detector. Bill says it has a radar jammer. He swears he's telling the truth. As journalists, we are paid to doubt him. Since the Nevada and California Highway Patrols were out chasing speeders, we broke out a radar gun. Bill whipped out the car for a little demonstration. Uh, the radar detector is going to go off and it's automatically going to turn on the jammer. And there you have it. Well, what we had, Phil, was a failure of the mechanical nature. As you blew by, the trusty deputy's tool clocked you at 73. That's speeding, a ticket, trouble. So Phil tried again. And this time as he roared by, his radar jammer was jamming. Instead of a 75, he was actually doing, the radar gun clocked him at 30. Score one for the stealth car. Everything in the vehicle here is legal to own. The only time you might have a problem is in the operation of some of it, and these would be mainly problems with the FCC, not with local law enforcement agencies. Specifically, Phil doubts the FCC would appreciate what he calls his CHIPS detector, a device that can detect a patrol car's two-way radio up to three miles away. So anytime the dispatcher transmits and we are within approximately three miles of Iowa patrol car, we will get that alarm. And the purpose of all the heavy hardware? The speed. Phil's right leg is capped by what's referred to as a lead foot. Well, I'm not sure I should say. <laughs> Let's put it this way. It's a lot quicker than most people probably would go. Phil won't say, I will. He likes to go anywhere from 120 to 180 miles an hour. And, of course, there's the obvious question. The speed limit is still 65. The equipment is relatively expensive. It's not foolproof. And if you get caught doing 120 miles an hour, well, then you're really in trouble. So why go so fast? I think I know the answer. Well, it's just about twice as much fun as going 60 miles an hour. Twice as much fun, which means twice the trouble. And, Phil, twice the danger. If you're out in the middle of the desert where nobody's around, uh, the potential for hurting anyone, even including yourself, is minimal. Hey, it's your car, your life, Bill. And one thing for all you wonderful folks who watch this show, before you call, we are not promoting speeding. We are not encouraging you to break the law. Not that you need devices to encourage anyway, right? Nobody, really. Kind of like the stealth bomber. Same thing. Totally useless. Big ticket item. Now, the stealth car isn't guaranteed to work first time every time, but neither is the stealth bomber. And the stealth car doesn't cost a billion dollars. 
Stealth technology revolutionized the airplane for the military. Now the same technology may be available to you, the motorist. We'll unveil the stealth car tonight. Good evening. I'm George Knapp, and for Gary Waddell. And I'm Mary Ruth Carlton. Eyewitness News is next. You're watching Channel 8, Southern Nevada's news and information source. And now, Eyewitness News 8, the 6 o'clock report, with Gary Waddell and Mary Ruth Carlton. Now we'll check out the stealth car. Is this the car of the future? We will find out. to the Meadows Mall tomorrow will be able to see the unseeable. The one and only stealth car will be on display. The souped-up Corvette is packed with radar evading equipment and other gadgetry. According to Car and Driver magazine, one reason the car was built so its driver could infiltrate Area 51 to take photos of alleged flying saucers. Jaime Garza went for a spin in the stealth and has this report. What you're looking at may be the best kept secret on the streets. It's the stealth car, a high performance vehicle that's out of sight. It was developed mainly just to uh, have a stealth car. You know, we have a stealth bomber and a stealth fighter, and now we have a stealth car. <laughs> Henry created the $75,000 radar evading machine. The Corvette is painted with a jet black anti-reflective paint. It has a smoke screen which takes sand off the surface of the road and whirls it behind the fast moving car. And it's equipped with special lights to confuse a pursuing motorist at night. You can uh, make the car basically invisible to radar to where as it comes into the view of a radar gun it just doesn't uh, give the radar gun any reading or show up. Uh, the other thing we can do, which we call the discrete mode, is we can actually tell the radar what we want it to show. We've asked Phil to set his radar decoder to 31 miles an hour. He'll be going by us at a much faster rate, though. Let's see if this works. Okay, go. The radar reading was incorrect, programmed by the high-tech equipment in the car. The actual speed was 61 miles an hour. It's not illegal to own it, and it's not illegal to sell it. It's only illegal if you use it in certain ways. And to use it to evade police radar is the one big no-no. So, the next time you see a black Corvette, you may want to look twice, just to make sure you're really seeing something that sometimes just isn't there. Jaime Garza, Eyewitness News 8. Meadows Mall tomorrow, 10 to 7. All right. Tonight, a highway patrol would like to detect those stories coming up next. You turn to a friend. KVBC Las Vegas. Now, David Riggleman, Shannon Martindale, weather with Alan Sloan, and sports with Mike Wolfo. This is News 3 at 6, the weekend report. Well, you might have heard of a vehicle that defies radar detection. A vehicle that passes by with an area sound. But have you heard of the stealth car? More on that car that baffles police when we come back. How about this for a vehicle? One that can maintain electronic surveillance, travel at high speed while attracting as little attention as possible, and utilize passive and active electronic countermeasures when required to avoid potential pursuers. Sounds like a description of the stealth fighter or bomber, right? No, it's a description of the stealth car. The modified Corvette is on display at the Meadows Mall until 7 tonight. This car can avoid radar detection, fly along at 70 miles an hour without making any noise, and even confuse pursuers by changing the number of taillights. On top of all that, the stealth car has a racing engine giving it amazing speed. If you'd like your own stealth car, it'll only cost you about $75,000, Shannon. Keep in mind, many of the anti-detection devices may be illegal in many states. I bet so. <laughs> well, if you're going to spend that much on a car, you might as well have the money uh, to spend in case you get pulled over on tickets. That's right. You might as well set a little of that That's aside, right. just in case. Yeah. A group of us guys were sitting around one night, and we are talking about the stealth bomber and the stealth plane and stuff like that. And we just said, what if somebody was to build a stealth car? Phil's car looks like an ordinary black Corvette from the road, but inside it's filled with options that aren't exactly standard. There's the radar detector, the UHF VHF broadcast transmitter, and two way CB radio. But what makes this car a tough cookie to nab is the chips detector. 
This device gives me an alarm whenever I get within three miles of a highway patrol unit. In addition to that, we can, of course, hear everything they're saying. Happy 374 Barstow. Been no further sighting of the black Corvette. And if all else fails, there's still the radar jammer to fall back on. We can send out a scramble signal, or we can dial up whatever number we would like it to see. And guess what number that'll be? Hmm. Phil Henry recently made a high-speed cross-country trip in his stealth Corvette without getting a ticket. But before you decide to make your own car invisible to police, keep in mind that although owning the jamming equipment may not be illegal, using it in some states is, and it can get you into a whole lot more trouble than a speeding ticket. Thanks for making Channel 4 Southern California's favorite. Jim Thompson. Bill Lagatuto. Christopher Dance, weather. Brett Lewis, sports. Dr. Bruce Hensel, health. And David Sheehan, entertainment. Channel 4 News, weekend, number one in Southern California. Well, it is the dream of every driver who imagines hitting the road at high speeds not to be seen. Now one entrepreneur claims he can deliver that dream in an electronically invisible car. Joe Rico reports on the stealth Corvette. Stealth, a testament to aeronautical genius and proof that the U.S. government just can't keep a secret. Hostile forces aren't the only ones who can't detect it. The California Highway Patrol is eager to catch one of their very own along Interstate 15 between San Bernardino and Las Vegas. Of course, their stealth target is a $70,000, 400-horsepower, 1986 black Corvette equipped with just about every fuzz-busting gizmo on the open road. It's called, appropriately, the Stealth. Phil Henry says his vet is a kind of rolling laboratory which tests the latest radar and electronic devices on the market. Uh, we have two modes of operation, the scramble mode, where they get nothing. To cops in both Nevada and California, the car is electronically invisible. One can assume Henry drove to Beverly Hills from Las Vegas in... How fast were you going? What did I say in front of the courthouse? No comments? <laughs> the stealth vet has made about 500 trips along Interstate 15 without one speeding ticket. And just when you think it's no contest, Henry and a Chicago-based electronics firm have upped the stakes in this cat-and-mouse game.